So hello guys, welcome back. This is Viren Kumar. So in this video session, I am going to discuss about the pipeline task and the types. So we will understand the pipeline task completely through this video session. And what are the pipeline task? We will also discuss about all the types of the task. Those are available in the CI/CD pipeline. And after this video, you are able to get the clear idea what is the task. and how we can define and the create under the build or the release pipeline so on my screen you can see that the definition of the task is saying the task perform an action in the pipeline we want to perform a particular action okay so for that you can define for the task okay and the task is simply a procedure with a set of inputs and in the under the task we care some set of inputs you can understand by the example but just understand the definition of the task okay. task are the two types the first is the custom type second one is the built in task the custom type task is defined by the user the user create the task and built in task is already available and pre defined into the ci cd system so we can access through the ci cd pipeline either the yaml pipelines or through the classic view editor so here you can see the pipeline task there are some uh, examples of the pipeline task like build task utility task test related task package task deployment task and the tool task okay when you want to perform a build actions or the build task you can choose the already build task in the systems and you can define your own build task so build task like the maven maven is the build management tool so for the maven you can select the build task the test task means you want to publish some test result okay this publish the test result so this called the test task now question is that how to define in the eml pipeline this is the one yaml pipelines and in the yaml pipelines how we can define the task yep and when we have the classic view editor pipeline then how we can define the task under the classic view editor okay so here in the yaml pipelines we can specify the major version using at the rate in the task name so when you define a task okay then in the task name will given this is the first is the task name after that when you provide at the rate then it will give you the version number so this is a version number 2 and in the custom type of the task we define the version number through the inputs we define the inputs version and then we can provide the custom input for the particular task it just the basic understanding is good to define your task for the beginner level Okay. Now the question is where to define the task. Here we define the task under the steps. So a task always comes under the steps. So understand the pipeline hierarchy. When we design the YAML format, what we trigger? First we define the trigger information. Yeah. Then we define the pull information. Then we have the stages. under the stages we define the stage and then we have the jobs under the stage we have the jobs and under the jobs we have the job item and under a job we define the steps and in the steps we have the script or the task okay now the task control options how you can control your task a hyphen task you can define the reference of the task and the version number then you can provide the conditions continue on the error what are the, these are the properties of the particular task so i think you will understand through the example so i'm for that i'm going to switch to the editor so i need to create a new pipeline so i will create a new pipeline with the demo Uh, repository and you can select the starter pipeline here okay now you get get the starter pipeline here 
now these things uh, for your reference you can remove now I need to define some stages first the stages will come and under the we have the one stage A and under the stage we have some jobs to define and, and a job jobs have already the one job so I am going to define a job A now under the jobs we have some steps to define ok now we have some steps to define so this is the steps I have defined and under that I have the one step so we have the steps to define so under the steps we can define the base step check out step download step download build step get package powershell publish so there are lots of them steps are there so I want to define a task as a step ok now perform the colon give the space now here we can define the task so these are the predefined task ok android you can see the android build at the rate 1 so this is the android build 1 android sign in and apache geometer so you should know which task is you want to apply because you know there are lots of tasks test task package build task so which one you want to define so for that there are lots of tasks available into the system those are already defined you need to select for that so I am going to select suppose Maven Maven I am going to select so Maven version is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 ok and Maven authentication so I am going to select the Maven version 4 now for this task I have some inputs and these called the task properties so the task has the condition continue on the error the display name so now I want to display the name of this task so task name is 8 ok now if you want to define another properties ok you can select the properties so you want to continue on the error this one so you give the boolean value then you need to condition you need to define a condition enable environment inputs the name retry on the task failure timeouts so you want to define the timeout after the 20 milliseconds then we have the conditions to define so you can fail succeed on so there are lots of the inputs we can define and if you don't know you can refer this ppt so if you have the conditions continue on the error enabled so whether or not to run the system defaults to run ok so you want to enable the systems it will run retry count on the task failure ok if you want to repeat if the task is failed so you can provide the number and the target is st string so we have the inputs under the inputs you can define the version specification ok like that you can define the task from here now if you want to understand this task through the UI then what you need to do you can click on the setting then it will give you the the UI part so there you can define the goal suppose I want to define the goal suppose verify options publish to Azure DevOps I don't want to publish ok and you can select all these things now you can add so if you do through the settings it will give you the complete definitions for your task if you don't know through the YAML pipelines you go to settings you did the change and then you will get the the YAML structure for you ok so if you want to publish the Azure pipelines you can add these ones so now you have the task Maven 4 
display name continue on the error input so the input will be like that so your goals will be the verify and test result file java home jdk version is the default and false so like that you can define okay now you can save and the run now this pipeline will execute the task so job name a is in the queue uh, the job will run on the ubuntu agent okay now the job acquire the agent and now it will start for the execution yeah so it will initialize the job check out the repository and this is the task is going to execute okay so task name is a, a so we define the task name a so i'm going to click on that so task is the maven description build test on the deploy with the apache maven the version is 4.2 author is this error not found the pom.xml file it didn't find the pom.xml file that's why the task is in the error position okay but the task got executed now you can edit this task okay so now you just remove all the inputs for this task or you can remove till here okay and now suppose you want any task any other task now how i will get that task so and there are lots of task available so i want the azure power cell so i'm going to select this one Okay, so this is the correct right script the input for the power cell script in line script and the script type is the in line script now i'm going to save this pipeline and run again okay so this time the job got executed successfully on the windows machine so the power cell is script printing the hello world okay finishing with the power cell okay we found the power cell at this location and it got executed so if you writing the wrong syntax then you can define through the settings okay and for this task we have the inputs set of inputs so this is the step one okay as an input which we call the inline script okay and then we have the right host the right host will give you to return the string on your power cell script and fail on the standard error 